good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment. It's been a little bit since we've done one of these. I wanted to do a new surgery. I wanted to get, you know, some AEW and Rival Series 8. I wanted to get some Elite Series 92. I have a few of those figures featured here today, of course, but I don't think it really rendered a full surgery episode, and I don't want to just create a surgery episode. I try to make it legitimate. I try to make a surgery video a surgery video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to just throw a bunch of stuff together. If it's going to be surgery, it needs to be surgery. Speaking of surgery, I jammed the dog piss out of my ring finger over here. Uh, if you guys can see the difference, I'm super bruised over here. I had a splint on it. I can barely, like, that hurts to bend that far. It's very challenging for me right now. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see the bruising. Regardless, I had a splint on it. I don't know how well I would even do in surgery right now. I don't know how well I'm going to do here today trying to do these swaps, but we're going to do our best here. White kiss on the hunt. You know, I was hooping, and uh, sometimes it just be like that. I haven't really gotten injured while hooping in a while, but it, I mean, that's just the way it was. If you guys want to see some hooping videos, let me know down in the comment section below. Anyways, should be pretty fun, man. We got some cool swaps going on. If you guys can notice right here in the center, you notice this Fiend figure right here. You'll notice that the Elite 92 Burnt Fiend is holding another Burnt Fiend head, and you're probably like, where the hell did that come from? That's actually made by BEW. About to get some more work done by him, so I figured let's try out this head swap, man. I have a brand new figure head that I've, ha I've had that for months on months probably I'd say a couple weeks after the burnt fiend was shown on television I had that at my front door never really had a, a, a way to use it I was gonna make my own burnt fiend then we got our own and then it just kind of fell by the wayside and now here we are I have an opportunity to use it we're gonna put that head on there and just see what it looks like it may look like buns it may look better than Mattel I have a feeling it'll look better than Mattel but we won't know until we try it out but not only that guys we have the burnt fiend figure here that we're going to attempt I just dropped the head we also have the hurricane over here I'm gonna do a little boot fix up swap so i have this elite hurricane with the green boots right here i'm going to throw on his original elite 75 from the sting figure over here where we did the weird fix up like way long ago on action figure surgery it may have been an appointment but i think it was on surgery one of those episodes but we're gonna uh, do that little boot swap right there i think that'll look pretty fire we're also gonna put this scarlet head over on the scarlet elite the skin tones don't really match but i still want to see what it looks like if you're wondering why the head sculpt is missing it's actually because i'm sending it off to bew to get actually custom painted and look really really good so i'm excited to see what he can do with that also sending off some elites some other head sculpts and the chris statlander figure really excited to see how those come out but we're going to attempt that we're also going to do some boot swaps and some finger swaps over here with our ray from elite 92 and elite 88 i think it's elite 88 i'm still struggling with that i need a new one because this freaking torso is just and then last but not least, we have the Charlotte fix-up right here with the Ultimate Edition head. I think this head will look better than this head, so that's what we're going to do here today. See, not really quite surgery-esque, but I figured it would make for a good appointment. So we're going to slide everything back, we're going to get all the good things going, and we're going to conduct this action figure appointment. Now I guess what we can do first, guys, is we can go ahead and try to do our heated methods first, and then we will come back and do the rest of it. So let's go ahead and start off with our heat method. We do have Scarlet right here. Uh, I think... I think I want to, what else do I need to do? Okay, I need to do my hurricane boots, I think. And uh, you guys know the rules. Should I remove the cape? I mean, uh, let's be honest with ourselves. History says to remove the cape. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna remove the cape just cause I don't, I, like I would probably hate myself if I ended up, you know, switching it. Cause you guys know the new figures don't need heat, man. Look how easy that was. Had I not done it and I ruined it, it would have been simple as one, two, three. I would have punched myself in the face. So now we're going to go boot around the face here and then we're gonna go sting on top of the face there create sort of a weird concoction right here where we stack the two here and then that flow of heat should go right through both of them hopefully again I'll be able to do this without hurting myself or my finger anymore when I tell you I was it was game one that it happened it was game one that it happened and I literally couldn't dribble I couldn't catch the ball like it went all the way down into my palm right here uh, it's still bruised a little bit it hurts pretty good right there for some reason so that tendon got outstretched so basically this finger went all the way it's not like it hit it here it like stretched all the way back so basically this was touching back here i felt it it felt horrific but luckily it's not as bad as it as it felt at the time but i'm feeling a lot better hopefully the next time i hoop i'll be able to be worth a damn i mean i was still doing my best i had to use all my left hand pretty much i am ambidextrous, but still man it was a difficult task anyways let's go ahead and heat up these things and make the swaps
Alright guys, hopefully that will be long enough. I just knocked a bunch of Jerichos on the floor, so that's just excellent. Anyways, let's get into here. Oh god. I'm having to do like a really, really... God in heaven. It's like it's coming off, but I don't want to... Dude, doesn't this like Bash at the Beach sting go for like $60 or something? I don't know how much it goes for. I kind of want to look it up now. Maybe somebody down in the comment section below can do that for me. Uh, I feel like it's, it's worth a pretty decent amount here, but there is the Hurricane Boots swapped over right there. We'll take a look at that in a moment. We'll put the cape on there and the head sculpt. I don't think these boots should go in here. I think I'm going to find some different boots. You know, he had those like bright green ones on that are similar to this, um, but uh, they're not quite this. I, I think that looks stupid. I mean, I guess it can. It's just screw it. Let's just put it on here. We'll look at him at the end. I know it's not accurate. It's completely stupid, honestly, but, you know, it's there. You know, we'll, we'll look at him in just a moment. So Stink can go off to the side. Now, Scarlet... I thought for sure her whole peg was coming out right there, man. I thought for sure that would be the case. But these spikes may hinder this, but I do want to see if this goes on here. And if it goes on here, any, like, does it look at least, like, somewhat decent? You know what? We'll look at the end. I think you might be quite shocked by that. Now, our next issue is going to be the Fiend Bray Wyatt, or the Burnt Fiend here. We're going to go ahead and clap that down. And all we have to do is pop that off, right? So a little appointment, you know, a little action, a little there. Maybe you could say that, like, anything that's just popped and play should probably be appointment related and not surgery but i still think it counts man i'm not i'm not going to discriminate against that i think i used a i, I want to say i used the ultimate fiend head to do this but there is that uh we'll look at that at the end i kind of like the way that looks right there i may do a before and after on like instagram or something like that and somebody can let me know what they think there but next up we do have charlotte Ah, dude, that's just, like, the pop and play is just so nice, man. It's, it, it's get, truly a game changer. But here's Charlotte. Maybe that's another before and after we can do. Uh, there's the head swap there for her. I actually like that a lot. Holy crap, that makes a whole new figure right there. After that, um, we also have to do Rey Mysterio. Now, well, Rey Mysterio, I don't know. Should I do the gloves? I think that's what I was going to do. I need some more Elite 72s, man. Honestly, I really do need some Elite 72s because I want more of the white boots or not the white boots. I want more of the white gloves and then the black and white stripe boots is what I meant to say. We pop that hand off here, plug this hand in here. I mean, this is borderline. This is kind of what our AJ Styles fix up look like, except it does have the grabby hands, you know, the Friday Night Smackdown intro grabby Rey Mysterio hands, but it, it gives us a different look there. So we'll look at that in just a moment. We do have to plop these hands back in here though. And then we got to put our head sculpt back onto our hurricane figure, but we have lots of figures just floating around headless and all kinds of stuff going on here, but We'll look at that in just a moment. Those hands are loose for some dumb reason. And then we got to put the cape back on our hurricane. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in a moment for everything we've done here today on Action Figure Appointment. All right, guys, here we are with all of our fix-ups. Let's start off with the Fiend Bray Wyatt right here, guys. I think it's very interesting here. BEW did an amazing job on this head sculpt. Uh, I mean, I like it. I like that we got more, like, reddish and more realistic tones going here instead of just a bunch of, like... Oh, look at that, dude. You even got the charred skin on the back of the head right there. I do want to get a side-by-side -side with the Mattel one just to kind of give us like our own different look here and they're definitely different i think that uh mattel's i mean they're definitely they're way different actually i mean they have a little bit of similarities but at the end of the day i like what we got going on here i like bw's more i think you know i, I think i do i think he gets more details it has a little bit better likeness you know you can kind of make out what's going on with it and stuff you guys can let me know down in the comment section below maybe the hair of mattel's may be a little bit more accurate but at the same time man look at that charred skin and stuff it just has like a more burnt look to it look at that bro that's i mean that's pretty damn good bro I, I like that a lot anyways look forward to more work from bw especially the full body shot right here bro look at that full body shot i mean that is that is freaking clean so there's the burnt fiend you guys can let me know what you think about that next up we have charlotte this looks immaculate honestly i like this head much better than the one that we were getting i think this looks a lot more like charlotte it gives it that like and you may think that she has a giraffe neck but she really doesn't i think it looks good i think it hides well uh yeah i, I like it I, I don't have any issues with that whatsoever you guys can let me know but here is the two differences there very similar but not quite the same so and the likeness is better over here on the ultimate edition so i like the charlotte figure a lot we also have our hurricane here which is a nice little fix up it's a different take on the hurricane now i have like a, a whole bunch of hurricanes i think i have like five or six hurricanes which is pretty cool i think i have the chase the regular two of the legends we got the stinger back here that doesn't make any sense but you know his boots kind of tie into his face paint it's not really a real fix up but i did it for the sake of the swap just because you know i didn't want to run around bootless but i like the way the hurricane looks that's pretty sweet even though they give him those weird lower legs it's a pretty fire hurricane did a little 360 there so the hurricane's looking good
good. We also have our Rey Mysterios. Now, this looks very similar to the AJ, but I think it looks a lot cleaner. I like the all black look here. I think that they, these like reddish orange kind of throws this whole gear off, to be honest with you. I just don't think it matches that well, but the all black looks pretty, pretty nice. I think white gloves and then black and white boots, you know, the striped ones would look better probably for this Rey Elite 92, but at the end of the day, I think it makes a lot of sense, and this actually makes this figure look better, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this fix-up. I like it a lot better. Need to get another one again because of the freaking torso terrible looseness, but then last but not least, we have Scarlet here with the basic head on the Elite. I like this a lot, you know? I think the skin tone is different, but with the shading, like, the head covering with the long hair over the neck, you can't really tell the skin tone difference, and then you can tell the skin tone difference in the legs and the face, but if you've ever seen any woman ever, if you've ever seen a woman ever wear pantyhose or anything that covers their thighs like this, it always makes them darker. It always makes them look like this. It's, you know, it's kind of got like that darker tone to it and it makes their legs look like that. So I think it has a more realistic feel for it, honestly. And I think that, you know, while she has a more pale skin tone in the face, I think the white hair and everything looks pretty damn badass. I like how everything looks right here. So you guys can be the judge down in the comment section below, but there's Scarlet. We already covered everything else in the video, man, but that is going to wrap up action figure appointment. I think this has been one of the best appointment episodes we've had in a while. I haven't looked at the, the older episodes, you know, in a, in a little bit there, but maybe you guys have and you can let me know down below, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like Sting over here wearing hurricane boots. You cross the line.